CS18 Settings Overview General Mixer Settings In this video, we'll walk through the basic settings for the CS18 AI. To access the settings for your mixer and CS18 AI, press the Home button and then select Settings. Here, you'll find options for the Pan Mode, Show Peak Hold, Global Augs Mute, Sampling Rate, and LCD Brightness. There are also links to the settings pages for permissions, AUGS mix setup, effects routing, digital routing, and firmware. Let's take a look at each. In permissions, there's a drop-down list for all the devices currently connected with the mixer. Once a device is selected, you can assign the mix permissions. For UC Surface clients, the options are FOH for front of house, which gives access to the entire mixer, all auxes, which limits access to just the aux mixes, or individual aux mixes, locking out access to anything outside that one aux mix. For QMix clients, you'll have the option for all aux mixes or individual aux mixes. The other dropdown allows you to grant access to rename channels for UC Surface or limit mix access to just the wheel of me in QMix. The AUGS routing screen is where you change the pre, post routing for each of the available AUGS mixes. There are three settings to choose from. Pre 1 sends the channels to the AUGS mix after the high pass filter and gate, but before the compressor, EQ, and main mix fader. Pre 2 sends the channels after all the fat channel processing, but before the main mix fader. Post sends the channels after all processing and after the main mix fader. If a mix is set to subgroup mode, it will show the text subgroup instead of a drop-down for pre-post options. The effects routing provides the same options for changing the pre-post settings for the four effects mixes. Typically, these will be left in the default post position, so you don't continue hearing effects on a channel that has been turned down in the main mix. Digital routing is where you assign which outputs are routed to the auxiliary digital outputs. These are the extra outputs on the firewire and network sends after all the input channel sends. Each digital output pair has a drop-down list of available outputs, including the main mix, AUGS mixes, effects sends, and solo bus. Opening the firmware page will show the current firmware version for your CS18 AI and the connected mixer. There is also an option to update the firmware for each. Back at the home screen, there's also a page for the CS18 AI utilities. This area contains the test utilities for verifying functionality of the faders, screens, and buttons. It's important to note that the CS18 AI should not be connected to a mixer or software for control when entering a test mode and must be rebooted after any test mode. There are also some settings accessible from the Edit button in the Talkback and Solo sections of the CS18 AI. Pressing the Edit button in the Talkback section will first open the Talkback routing that is assigned to the Custom button in the Talkback section. Pressing the gear icon at the top of this page will open the Talkback settings. These settings include a drop-down list of available Talkback sources, as well as the preamp level and 48 volt phantom power for the selected Talkback source. The Solo Edit button will open the Solo Options screen where you can choose your desired solo modes. That covers all the general settings for your CS18 AI. Check out the rest of our CS18 AI videos for more detailed information and tips on optimizing your CS18 experience.